everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Hating Game. So, oddly enough, um, it is actually 6.5 on IMDb. 4,000 people have rated it so far. Lucy Hale is in it. And that's all I really... Oh, Corbin Burnson is in it. <clears throat> but uh, nobody else. I don't. I guess the main actor, his name is Austin Stowell. Uh, but it seems like they have a revive, a revive, blah, 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 rivalry. So, <laughs> resolving at, to achieve professional success mm -hmm. without com compromising her ethics, Lucy Hale's character embarks on a ruthless game of one-upmanship against cold and efficient n a nemesis Joshua, a rivalry that is complicated by her growing attraction to him. So. To better summarize that, I'm, I first of all apologize for reading that. I should have been better prepared. There is a rivalry. They're trying to get ahead in their professional career. There's some love interest going on. Doesn't sound like a 6.5 to me, but nonetheless, on IMDb, 6.5, pretty high score for the kind of movies I've been watching lately. So, hour and 42 minutes long. Let me get into it. Find out what it's about. Give you a better idea. Let you know if it's in my kind of demographic. Um, hopefully it's good. Hopefully it lives up to the 6.5 hype. Uh, but we'll see. Stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody. We're at the credits of The Hating Game. Sorry, no check-in. Wasn't too sure about even finishing the review on this one. Not that it was terrible. Um, just not a lot to say, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it is what IMDb says, so these two couples are... Um, so what happens is they work in a publishing company, and one was uh, owned by, um, I, I'll just say a male, I forget his name, that's why I can't think of it, um, Burnson, Richard Burnson, I don't know, I keep getting, or Cornyn, Cornyn, <laughs> I'll look it up, and then the other company was owned by a woman, and that's important, normally who cares, right, but, you know, uh, he is really chauvinistic, she's not so much, um, feminist or anything like that, but he is really over the top. And now his right-hand man, um, you know, works for him and hel helped run that company. It was more like a sports writing company, whereas uh, this was more of a novel, I guess, type of place. I don't know, literary? Um, something, I don't know. And of course, her right-hand woman is Lucy Hale. So the companies merge, and now these two are, you know, at each other's odds. In this company, the two owners run it. And, uh, you know, it, it creates a divided male versus female. Um, and then ultimately they come out and say, hey, they need to promote somebody to managing director. And, of course, these two are the ones who are first in line to get that position, so they have to go against each other uh, in order to get this position. Well, in, in addition to the hate, there might be, you know, maybe some crushes going back and forth on the two of them. So now they've, you know, you know starting to share feelings. But yet they're going for this position, and they used to seem like hate each other. That's the whole plot. So you're, you're okay, who's going to get the job at the end, and, and what's going to happen? Are they going to fall in love and live happily ever after, or are they going to hate each other? So on and so forth, and what's going to happen to the company? Corbin Burnson, that's his name, right? Sorry. I can think and talk at the same time, look at that. Um, but So that's really what the whole movie's about. I mean, it's your classic... Um, Two people who hate each other, work together, um, fall in love, you know, and, and with all that other background behind it, not much else. I mean, that's that's, that's really it. Um, so that's why I was kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to do a review on it because it's very, you know, and maybe I just see too many movies, but it just seems so predictable. Um, and I thought it was going to be, I was expecting maybe something to happen that might be different than than what I had predicted the moment I realized what the movie was about. Um, and I can tell you that I was right. I was, I, I, what I hoped for didn't come true. I, I had my thoughts and my thoughts pretty much came true and it, almost to the T. Um, so, um, yeah, that's, you know, so that's why I was, I wasn't, that's why I didn't do a check-in. That's why I almost didn't do a review. I'm surprised the scores are, are that high and it could be, maybe I've seen movies, older movies. I mean, The Proposal comes to mind. Sandra Bullock and, um, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? 
Oh man, my, now I'm blanking. Ryan Reynolds. They're in that one. Very similar, except for she's his boss, he's the assistant, and, you know, they don't like each other, but then, oh, what's going to happen there? So that, you know, like, I can't think of anyone exactly like that, but again, two work people who don't like each other fall in love. And uh, they're up for the same position. You know, I think there's uh, a lot more out there like that, but uh, nothing comes to mind right now. But you get it, right? Um, it's fun. I like, um, you know, I like the characters. I thought uh, the, the, the guy, Austin something, kind of reminded me of Eli Manning. Not a fan of him, but every time I looked at him, um, I liked his character. And she was okay. I thought they had good back and forth. Um, but everything else just uh, caught myself looking on my phone a lot. Um, couldn't, you know, because I knew what was going to happen. And so I didn't, that's why I didn't enjoy it as much. So for me, I'm more down around a 5 and a 6, 5.5 to a 6 ish. Um, not that it was terrible, you know, and I, I think for those people who like a good love story, you know, a rom-com, a romantic comedy, I think is what you would classify this as, and there's nothing wrong with that, I do like that, but, um, you know, I don't like them all, and maybe haven't seen as many of these types of movies that I have, might enjoy it, you know, especially if you like Lucy Hale, um, you know, she's... You know, a lot of people like her, so you might like that aspect of it. Austin Stoll, I, I don't know if I've seen him. I probably did, but I don't remember what I've seen him in before. But but really, they're the only two that stand out to me as actors that people, you know, would probably know and want to follow. Um, you know, they would probably be the main reason you'd watch this. And again, if you haven't seen what I had described to you before, um, it might be a little bit more interesting to you than it was for me. You know, I don't know. It, it's... Probably I have uh, built my own trap that watching too many movies and they they all seem similar sometimes. So that's what I got for you. Um, I did laugh out loud once or twice. So there you go. All right, that's it. I'm, I'm trying to be helpful. Uh, hopefully I was. If I was, great. Thanks. You know, hit the like button. Um, if I wasn't, that's okay. See some of my other reviews. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.